Hey guys, so, <laughs> so I don't even know how to start this video because quarantine just keeps getting pushed and I have a lot of mixed feelings right now. I wanted to film this video earlier, but the good news is is that these packages finally came so I am able to film this video for you guys. But back when I ordered these swimsuits, I thought that we were going to be having a normal summer. That's not what it's looking like. Even though we're not probably gonna have a normal summer, I'm excited to wear these swimsuits this summer, regardless of the circumstances. But first things first, I didn't just buy any normal swimsuits. I bought swimsuits that I've seen all over Instagram for the past year. I follow a lot of fashion bloggers, influencers, and something that a lot of people are posting in is triangle swimwear. Frankie swimwear and I am Gia. I'm normally the type of person that'll walk in Target and if I see a cute swimsuit, I'll buy it. I did the damn thing and I bought from those three swimwear places and I wanna give you guys the most honest review and see if it's worth the hype. Triangle um, was kind enough to send me one swimsuit. I bought the rest. So in order, I feel like Frankie swimwear is the most hyped. Second is Triangle, and third is IMGia. IMGia is just overall like super popular with their clothing, but I've been noticing a lot of influencers and Instagram models wearing the swimwear, so I figured I would add that to the review also. So yeah, keep watching if you guys want my honest opinions and if it's worth dropping this kind of money on swimsuits. Because these swimsuits, I kid you not, are like $80 for the top, $80 for the bottom, like crazy. Because it's for a video, I justified spending that money. And I'm gonna give it to you guys, so keep watching. And fingers crossed we have a normal summer. Even if we don't have a normal summer, it's cute to always have a good swimsuit. Okay, into the video. All right guys, so this is where I'm going to be trying on the swimwear. I do wanna give a little disclaimer. I'm recovering from an eating disorder. I'm definitely on the good end of it but it always like reoccurs and it pops up. It's always, you know, it's a lifelong struggle. Totally don't wanna bring down the mood right now, but it took a lot for me to like wanna film a swimsuit video like this. I think the last time I filmed a video like this was two years ago and I'm really excited, but please no body shaming in the comments. I'm going to be very honest about how flattering it is to body types, the quality, how long it took to come in, the customer service and um, how it makes me feel. I feel like that's important. So we're gonna go get changed. <laughs> All right guys, so these are my triangle swimsuits. I think I bought like five. I actually wore this swimsuit in the last Nikki and Gabby video. I'm gonna insert a clip right here. During quarantine, I just, you know, show off my curves in the kitchen. I'm just gonna have the footage playing as I talk about this one. Um, the gold swimsuit with the single strap, I thought it was very flattering with the bottoms. I love that they're elastic and they're not too tight hugging to where your like love handles or like fat on your hips hang over as long as you wear the sides of the swimsuit above your hips. I thought the bottoms were really comfortable. Usually swimsuit bottoms are so uncomfortable and the sparkly fabric, I worried about it being itchy, but it was not itchy. My only complaint is the top is not flattering to people who aren't blessed up top and I felt very flat and not like hot, but the bottoms were awesome. That's my review on this guy. Also, after you're done watching this, go watch the new Nikki and Gabby video, little promo. Your girl needs a tan. Oh my god. The top, I want it to be a little more flattering. I thought that this would have a little push up in it, but it doesn't. It just has underwire. You're blessed or you're not blessed, but it's nice to sometimes have some help. I like these bottoms on my hips. But if I wear them like this, it's not really flattering. I just don't feel blessed right here. So I'm gonna take it up with my genetics after I'm done filming this video, but. <laughs> <laughs> Nate walks in. What do you, what do you rate this? I like okay. the color, that fits you nice too. What do you think my, my critique is? Cause I think you're gonna There's nothing special about it. Like body wise, body shape wise, what it's doing to me. <laughs> what? It makes me look like a pear. It does nothing for this. Really? I think it looks good. Really? I think it's worth 50 bucks, half the cost. I do like that it comes together, like it's not 89 for the top, 89 for the bottom because I have shopped from swimwear places that it's like that. So thank you Triangle for including the top and the bottom in the total cost. Um, okay, next swimsuit. Okay, this is flattering. I like not having a structured top with triangle swimwear. Something about the cut of this 
really makes my waist and hips and boobs look proportionate and something about the other swimsuit did not make my body look proportionate so this is the top here's a close-up of the top it has like a flower pattern and it's yellow and it gives me like 70s vibes i think this was worth it i can't believe i'm justifying a 90 dollar bikini but i think it's worth it i understand how people become addicted to triangle swimwear because the one thing that has been consistent in all three bathing suits so far is how comfortable they are honestly i could live in this bikini this is a win for me next suit okay this one is a triangle like tie up i don't know what this is called i feel like it goes really low right here I feel so exposed. If you look really, really close, there's pleated lines. It really, really, really does feel high quality. And something I forgot to mention, it comes with a little beach bag. All the swimsuits do. The gold swimsuit came with a really cute fanny pack made out of the same comfy material. And then the second one I tried on, I got this bag. The third one I tried on, I got this bag. I would much rather the price be lower and not get this bag, but I'll take it. It's a free bag that comes with a suit that's really comfortable and really cute. So I can't really complain. They get a 10 out of 10 on comfort for me. Um, in the summer, if you care more about comfort, this is your brand to buy from. You do get a free bag. They do have really cute, unique designs. I do think they're a little overpriced, but I'll let them get away with it. And I think it's actually worth it. I give this an eight out of 10 for flattering. I think they can maybe work on the tops for girls that aren't blessed. Okay, on to the next. I'm going to be trying Frankie swimwear. And it also features some clothing that they're selling. And this is new for them. So I'm excited to try that too. I do feel like Triangle and Frankie swimwear are neck and neck, so this can be really interesting. And yeah, let's try them. Okay, so this is Frankie swimwear. This is pretty much the same cut as the blue triangle swimsuit. I don't know, something about the top's different to wear from far away. I look like I have balanced boobs and hips. Um, obviously when you get closer you can tell I'm not blessed. I like how this looks farther away. I have to look at the price. Okay, hold up. I just checked and this was $85 and this was $85. So this entire swimsuit was way over $100. Okay, okay. I don't really justify the cost of this. This, this really could be sold by Triangle. It's really comfy. But the one thing I do like better about this brand is I think this cut specifically is more flattering on my body type. And then I'm just gonna throw the clothing items in between the suits because I didn't buy many suits. A lot of things are sold out in my size. <laughs> Wow, Nikki bought a skirt. This kind of looks like something Sharpay Evans wore in High School Musical. I really like this and I think it's cute. They advertise the tops with the clothing so it makes you automatically want to buy the clothing along with the swimsuits that are $90 each. I don't think you're supposed to wear them together but this is cute and now I gotta go to a country club. Here's bikini two. This is high waisted. This kind of honestly looks like the triangle one. They look like totally different colors online. So I'm kind of annoyed I spent that much money on something that looks similar to what I already own. I don't know how I feel about the high waisted bottoms. They're really, really comfortable, but I feel like whenever they're this high waisted, and God forbid I have like anything right here, it'll kind of look inner tubey. If you have a similar body shape to me, you guys totally know what I mean. Um, I feel like it's a little safer to have it low like that. I did only buy two swimsuits from Frankie Swimwear because it's literally expensive for, like they don't come together as one. So I spent a lot of money on the site and I also wanted to try the clothing. Cover-ups are also a really huge part of buying swimwear because like we're not just gonna walk around half naked around the beach. Like if you wanna go places, you wanna put cute little things to go over top. This is my second outfit I bought. I bought these blue shorts. Oh my God, this is so cute. <gasps> I love this. I literally love this. Okay, now let's try the top. Everything is really, really high quality. This is like a really expensive brand. Ooh. This is really hard because it's really expensive, but I, I like everything. So far, Triangle's winning only because 
their patterns and their cuts they have more variety and it's just more creative to me but like this is very basic i feel like you could buy this from anywhere it's just the quality that feels so expensive i literally could touch this all day it's so comfortable okay last but not least i'm going to try on I am Gia. Again, this site is really, really expensive. So I bought one bikini. Yeah, I bought one, but it's a bikini I've been eyeing for a long time. And it also came with a really cute cover up top. And we're gonna try this on. And then I'm gonna know the ranking. I'm gonna order all this. Okay, this is the I am Gia bikini, which I think this is winning. This is my favorite bikini. I like the color. I like that the logo is like super cool. Um, this is very me in a bikini. Here's a close up of the top, itty bitty titty committee, but. I'm a little annoyed right now because I ordered a cute matching swim top to go with this and instead they sent me yellow bottoms. So I'm gonna pull up right now if this is my mistake or their mistake. I fell for that. I literally fell for that. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but whenever stores can't seem to sell something, they catfish you by the model wearing something really cute and eye-catching, and you click on the photo, and they're actually selling the ugly, like, plain skirt they can't sell. I mean, yes, I made a mistake. I didn't read all the way. It wasn't the swim top. I didn't read, and instead, I got yellow bottoms. And IMG is so expensive. Oh, wait, guys. This swim top was $35 and the bottoms were $35. This is the cheapest one and it's my favorite. So, okay, here we go. This is an ad. Go shop at IMG. And don't order the wrong thing like me. All right, guys, that was my 2020 swimsuit haul slash review. Whoops, before we get into the outro, I forgot to do the final ranking of the three swimsuit brands. So here is what I came up with. Third place goes to Frankie Bikinis because the prices were way too high. Second goes to Triangle because of how comfy they are at a decent price. And first goes to IMG because they had my favorite suit at the lowest price. And that is magic, ladies and gentlemen. I was very, very honest in this video, which is really weird for me because way back in the day when I did hauls on the Nikki and Gabby channel, we like just kissed ass. And I really like that YouTube has taken an honest turn because I'm one of the most honest people you'll meet. I'm a Taurus, I'm really honest, and yeah, you're not gonna get bullshit with me. Also, it is a really weird summer, and I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm saying, I don't know why I'm apologizing, but um, it's really unfortunate that the quarantine date keeps getting pushed and yeah there's not much we can do but the good thing is is that summer comes no matter if we're stuck at home or not it'll get beautiful outside as long as you're not in australia because they're on the opposite hemisphere so they're gonna be experiencing winter when we're going through summer but um it's gonna be beautiful outside so try to get outside wear a cute suit if you can buy one and take your Instagram pictures like normal, lay out, swim if you can, go to a friend's pool. If you're social distancing, I don't know how this works. This is all new, but um, I'm always here. I'm trying to be active everywhere on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, on the Nikki and Gabby channel, on this channel. Like I literally just want to be active for you guys because it helps me. This is an outlet and also to help you guys because this is a really hard time right now. I love you guys so much. Um, follow me. I will interact with you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Comment down below what you want to see next. Hopefully it's my glam sweet makeover, but we're waiting for everything to come in the mail. But yeah, this is getting long. I love you guys so much. Follow me, subscribe, press the bell if you want to be the first notified every time I upload. Become a part of the iconic family and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!